All right guys, there's a bunch of different ways to cheat in games, some more subtle than others, but it's a whole different issue when you're cheating and there's something on the line. So today we wanted to take a look at esports' dirtiest cheaters, not just the random streamer, but the highest profile of cheating scandals in esports. Here are the top 10 dirtiest cheaters in esports. Kicking off our list may be the single stupidest cheating scandal in esports history. Before he signed with Optic India, Forsaken was a player mostly known for demolishing whatever pug he played in. But the only thing more confusing than his signing was his gameplay. At Extremes Land Zowie Asia 2018, Forsaken was hitting tracking headshots, nailing flicks, and hitting unthinkable spray transfers. He was looking like the next simple. Their entry into the B bomb site doesn't go well. Well, that's a very long Crazy spray. spray there from <laughs> Forsaken, but he manages to make it work. But tournament admins immediately took notice of his suspicious gameplay. Turns out he was cheating and had all his cheats on a file on his computer that he hilariously called Word.exe. When he got figured out, he even fought with tournament admins while desperately trying to delete it before they saw. Forsaken thought that he could fool everyone, but in the end, all he did was turn himself into a meme. I did. Who put Word.exe on? Now, you might not think that you can cheat in virtual cycling, but our number 9 entry proves that anything is possible. Uh, yes, e-cycling, an esport almost no one is aware of, but somehow had a cheating scandal in its first year of operation. And as of the 18th of September 2019, I am disqualified, disgraced, and banned from the sport of cycling. Cameron Jeffers, a YouTuber and cyclist, really wanted to compete in the British Cycling Esports Championship Grand Finals, but he wanted to get a bike that would give him an edge over the competition. So he set up some bots and had them grind their way to getting him the Zwift Concept Z1, a pretty sweet looking Tron bike. And then he won the tournament. And winner of the gold medal, your national champion is going to be Cameron Jeffers. But there was one small problem. He didn't actually earn the bike. Some sort of software on, on, on your computer uh, and you can essentially just put in like a power value, for example, like 400 watts, click enter, and your avatar within the game will just sit at 400 watts without like you having to pedal. Which British Cycling really didn't like. They stripped him of his gold medal, fined him 250 pounds, and called his actions robo doping. Yeah. Coming in at number eight is a cheating scandal that PUBG might never recover from. And it is a day that will go down in which a bunch of players get banned for cheating. That's basically what's happened. In 2018, PUBG saw a huge explosion in popularity, which of course led to an esports scene. Things were going pretty well. That is, until several pros were caught in a massive cheating scandal. Back then, there was a cheat going around called the Radar Hack. It's complicated, but it basically let you see where every other player on the map was without revealing yourself. That's insanely powerful, and using that in tournament would give any cheating pros a huge advantage. The other kids, yo, just get the car and go all the way to that hut in the front. You're gonna gatekeep them. They're outside of Pochinki. That's it, y'all won. Good shit, good shit, Laser. We discovered that 10 players have received in game bans due to the usage of unauthorized programs, the type of which has been severely damaging to the integrity of the game of PUBG. While many of the players who were caught using the radar hack weren't exactly at their prime, it was still a huge black mark on the scene. Even now, it's hard to look back at guys like THC winning the Broadcaster Royale. It just doesn't feel right. Taking the number 7 spot on our list is a cheater that just cracked under the pressure. APX Void is someone who was generally well liked by the Hearthstone community. I have to blow a kiss to my stream because I kept telling them I wouldn't. Okay. So awkward though because okay. there's so many people and it's like it's fine this is the best time to right. blow a kiss fine chat. you said you'd we'll do it you even have kiss. a command there i blew you a kiss chat i was cringy but that's okay we got one and i promised which makes what comes next that much worse while playing in the last round of the swiss stage during the hct winter playoffs the canadian cracked under the pressure Void typed up a message to a friend that was sitting right next to him, asking how he should play a specific matchup in the game. Unfortunately for Void, the admins decided that was cheating, and he was immediately disqualified. Shortly after that, his sponsor dropped him too. 
These days, things are looking up though. Void's slowly been climbing his way back up in the circuit, and his situation has become a lesson on how not to deal with the pressure of competition. Beautifully played from both sides. Apex played his threats, he checked the answers, and he, he, he made a really good balance of pushing, pushing damage to face while still managing a bloody face Ian's board. Now, cheating in MOBAs can be pretty hard, but Thunder Predator somehow managed to do it, and in the process, earned the sixth spot on our list. Same. Well, they are going to find the Bane. Will we see a roar? Not quite yet. Meepo throws in a net. This should be at least a kill on the Bane. He does get the Brain Stab off, which goes... One of the weirder ways that you can cheat in Dota 2 is to use a mouse macro, which essentially lets you use spells and abilities at speeds that no normal human could hit. And that's exactly what a tune from Thunder Predator did at the TI-8 South American Qualifier. And this dude wasn't even trying to hide it. Look at him poof all of his Meepos at the exact same time. Oh, well, they're gonna find just one. And it's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be the Bane with no buyback. They're just going in a tune. Does kill the Necro Book 3. And Schofield just taking a lot of damage. They're just sitting here killing Sorry, buildings. Nick. Admins immediately picked up on this after an uproar from the community and Thunder Predator were disqualified from the qualifiers. Taking the number five spot on our list is the TSM versus Azubu Frost scandal from the League of Legends Season 2 World Championship. So it's the quarterfinals, TSM versus Azubu Frost in a high stakes best of three. But for some reason, the players kept looking away from their monitors. All right, and as we jump into game, we have Wung on the screen. We can see him going down to the bottom of the map by himself. It quickly became clear that due to the production setup, both teams could actually see the audience's screen, which was showing the stream. That meant they knew exactly where the other team was on the map, which, if you don't know League, is kind of broken. For example, people were confused by how Zubu Frost was able to react so well to TSM's movement. Anybody to come through and invade the blue. They also have, again, Lux and Maokai in that mid, but they are freak. They went around that top brush. Turns out, they were watching the stream, just like the fans at home. And after the match, Reginald immediately accused the Korean team of cheating. We looked straight to Zoom Frost, and Chaos notices their players looking at our map, looking at the mini map, and they start like talking. And then um, there's also proof in the replay that there's been pings at dark areas where we're standing, where they have no vision of. So, I mean, that's kind of shady in my opinion. After further investigation from Riot Games, Azubu Frost were fined $30,000, bringing this scandal to a close. Now, it's one thing to cheat in an esports tournament with money on the line, but it's a whole other issue to cheat in a charity event. And when you stoop that low, you get the number four spot on this list. Nick A30 and David Morgan. Nick A30 made his name off of being a family-friendly Fortnite content creator on YouTube, but it was hard to see him that way after he broke the rules of a charity event run by Twitch. Now, the rules of the tournament stated that you had to land in a specific part of the map, but Nick A30 landed in other parts so that he could get better loot. But Nick A30 with his partner right on top of Chab. He's at one HP and he's not gonna be able to continue his rise to the top. No, 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 I got them both. Little by little, okay. we're seeing Nick perform here. Go, he was man. in six or seven right. place coming in. The worst part is that he didn't even get punished. The rule stated that for your first offense, you only got a warning. Nick A30 knew this, which is why he cheated in the first place. So I think what we want to do, because remember, we, 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 this we is get a warning. Hometown. That is true. We don't I mean, he get plays all around this area. Go back in. Sachs, as does Nate Hill. It's not a bad thing. So did he really cheat, or was he just aggressively bending the rules? I guess you could say, in some cases, cheating is in the eye of the beholder. Taking the third spot on our list is a cheater who got a quick smackdown from Epic Games, Faze Jarvis. Yeah, they've given me aimbot, bro. They've actually given you aimbot, Jarvis. Jarvis was just like any other Fortnite content creator on YouTube, making wacky videos in Fortnite for a young audience. That was until he decided to make a video experimenting with an aimbot. So you guys can see on my screen, I've definitely got the hacks. You can see where people are going. For some reason, it doesn't show on Streamlabs OBS, but let's just run it. Not even a subtle one or anything. Just a blatant aimbot doming people from across the map. Oh! I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? 
Now, of course, Epic Games took notice of this. He literally put it on YouTube for everyone to see, and they permanently banned Jarvis from Fortnite. Like, I just wish I could have known how badly I was messing up because I would never have ever thought of even making those kind of videos if I knew that this could have actually happened. I know now how big of a mistake this was and like, I, it's just, there's, there's nothing I can... Coming in at the runner-up spot on our list is a player whose ban and subsequent reformation leaves us suspicious to this day. Okay, we are kind of cheating here, but you know we had to cover this on this list. So, Shaika was an unreal French prodigy that was making his way through the ranks in Rainbow Six Siege. But during a match against Penta, Siege superstar Pengu felt like Shaiko's shots were suspicious and called for further action. A lot of rumors going on that there was some suspicious stuff going on and no one could really point to what it was. The story was that he had more information than you humanly possibly could, so that would refer to what we call wall hacks or some sort of way to gain information that you shouldn't otherwise have as a, as a normal human being. And the first bout of contact, Ooh. a great shot, Shaiko. What an unbelievable kill on Junus there. We beat them in a very, very, very close game and we protested because we had suspicion that something was wrong. ESL investigated whether or not Shaika was legit, and they found that the four key on his keyboard was being pressed at an inhuman rate. ESL banned the Frenchman for two years without any appeal, though they did lift it a little early. And once he was free, Shaika clapped Pengu at DreamHack Montreal. Shaiko's in a great spot to find another kill here. If things quiet down, oh! going off. He finds Pengu! What? Oh, what? what? And Babian as well! A triple for Shaiko! This is an unreal performance, and he's continuing it over to Bank. Since then, there's been no issue, and he still maintains his godly form. But at the end of the day, Shaiko did get punished for cheating. Whether or not he actually did it, though, is a question that remains to this day. Taking the top spot on our list is the cheater that put the entire Counter-Strike scene in crisis mode. If it turns out this is this is all accurate, then the ban is, is warranted and the person did cheat, then this is a case of a, a, a top level pro who has skill having cheated and the implications, unfortunately, are quite huge. Back in 2014, Cali was making a name for himself as a capable player in the French scene, even making the top four of a major and winning ESWC 2013. Kelly against Pasha, the two players who've stepped up phenomenally for their side. I can't Pasha. believe what I'm witnessing right here. Oh, wow. Kelly. Get out Kelly. of here. Get Can out you believe of here. it? To secure the final kill oh, wow. in that round. But one day, out of nowhere, Kelly got a VAC ban, effectively removing him from the pro scene forever. Kelly VAC banned. Kelly VAC banned? No. What? No one knew if he used cheats on LAN or even in an online match, and it threw the entire CSGO world into disarray. We need to know all these things because the implications are more than just this player and his account is now back banned. Okay, is that it? So you've detected something on his account, it's banned, is that the end of the story? That can't be the end of the story in this particular case. And that meant anyone could be cheating. Accusations started flying, and while the CS community eventually settled down, a lot of people were still suspicious about whether some pros had cheated and were just never caught. I know that a couple of my teammates are convinced that they, they think they cheat. <laughs> All right, guys, that's our list. Did we miss any that you feel should have been on it? Maybe it was that guy you were playing on Dust2 last night who just kept running down mid every single time with the deagle and doming you every single goddamn round? Leave your comments down below and we'll talk about it. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? My, my fucking default, like, English accent is Australian, okay? Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? The Senate will decide your fate. I am the Senate. Oh! <laughs>